everyone and welcome to our 67th episode of Brew Talk with Mr. Beer. My name is Robert. I'm once again your host for today's show. As always, I appreciate you guys taking the time to tune in and watch us today. Uh, just a little housekeeping as always before we get started. If you enjoy our episode or any of our previous episodes, please make sure to like or comment or share the uh, episode. We really appreciate it. It helps us know that you guys are enjoying it. Um, we post these on our Instagram, Facebook, and our YouTube page. Please make sure to follow us on all three platforms. Uh, we do post a little more different stuff on our Instagram, so that's always helpful. And if you're posting brewing pictures on your Instagram, please make sure to tag us at Mr. Beer. We love sharing your guys' brewing pics, or you should use the hashtag Mr. Beer in your post. Uh, we also post these on our blog page, mrbeer.com slash blog. You can also find our notes and a bunch of other wonderful information uh, we put a shrub bread recipe up there recently, so that's pretty cool. Something different and exciting to do. All right, so I got a quick uh, show for you guys today. Uh, so today's topic is, it's kind of a question I see asked uh, somewhat recent or frequently in our Facebook group is, do you add your priming sugar before or after you fill your bottles? Um, it's a question that's quite asked quite often, like I said. And I think a good secondary question I'll talk about real quick also is that, should you shake your bottles once you add in the carbonation drops or the priming sugar? All right, so let's tackle the first question about if you add them before or after your bottles are filled. We do think and we recommend if you look at any of our instructions that um, you should add your sugar or carbonation drops before you fill your bottles. Um, there's a few reasons for this. Um, I think the main one is that it makes the bottles just easier to handle. I mean, if you've got open bottles that are full of beer and you're trying to either dump some sugar in there or drop some carb drops in there, a little room for air you could drop a bottle and lose all that beer which is not good um, and also kind of sometimes if you're adding uh, carbonation drops or sugar once it's full you could possibly get some splashing effects once you dump those in there especially the carb drops because they're a little big um, and what any you know thing that's going to kick up your beer while it's in your bottle it can create oxygen within the beer and can oxygenate your beer which can lead a terrible flavor like we talked about before that tastes kind of like a cardboardy taste and it just doesn't really that's not one of those flavors you can condition out. So that's an, an unfortunate thing about getting those off flavors from oxygenating your beers. That doesn't really go away. So that's kind of why we always recommend to add it before. Keeps it easy, keeps it simple, and helps you know that you've added them. So just make sure you do it ahead of time. Uh, either do all the bottles at once or do them as you're filling them. So that way you know that, hey, carb drops wet in these bottles. Because I think a lot of times we run into issues where we're bottling 11 Mr. Beer bottles, or we're doing you know 12 ounce bottles and bottling 20 some odd numbers of those, and then you forget what you added sugar to or what you added carb drops to, and that can cause issues. So usually, I think the best practice is to add them before you fill your or before you fill your bottles with beer. And I usually just add them one bottle at a time. So usually when I'm bottling, I take a bottle, add in my sugar, add in my carb drops, and fill it, lid on, close it, onto the next one. So that way you know you follow that process to make sure that everything will be carbonated and you'll get a flat beer down the road. Uh, second question, shaking your bottles. Just don't do it. It's not a good thing to do. Uh, we don't recommend you doing it. It's not something that you can do. I think it's kind of an older kind of thing that I've seen some people do or they read somewhere that some people do it. Because I know if you're if you're uh, batch priming, which is separate, so you're taking your beer and your fermenter, putting it into a bottling bucket then adding sugar in the bucket, you do mix that up to very carefully, obviously, to mix the sugar into the beer so it kind of spreads out evenly. But since you're bottle conditioning or bottle carbon, you don't need to do that. So the only really reason that you need to ever like mix the beer or do anything with it when you add it to wherever your priming sugar is in the bottle or in a keg is it only if you're batch priming your beer, which we don't do with Mr. Beer. It just adds an extra step that we don't really think is always totally necessary. And obviously it creates more room for infection and oxidation if you are not following the proper protocols there. So to recap, add your priming sugar, carbonation drops before you fill your bottles, never shake your bottles. It's gonna wrap it up. Like I said, it was a quick and easy episode. Uh, hopefully I kind of just covered some topics for you guys, especially on the new brewers that we got from Father's Day. Um, and that was in June, but you guys should have already brewed your batch, should probably already bottled your batch as well, and should be on to the next one. Um, so as always, I appreciate the time. Uh, you want to learn more about Mr. Beer or Brewing with Mr. Beer, join our Facebook group, Mr. Beer's Brewing Society. We just ask that you answer three questions before we let you in. If you don't answer the three questions, 
We won't let you in, but it's very easy, simple questions to answer. So we ask that you do that. Um, I think I can't even remember how many people are in right now. It's like 1,500 or more than that. Uh, there's so many posts, all kinds of cool content and unique recipes, and we do all kinds of cool stuff in there. And we may have a coupon code for August in there in the next day or so. So keep an eye out for that. Join the Facebook group. We let people in every, you know, maybe once or twice a week. Uh, I like to let everybody in batches so we can welcome off the big happy Mr. Beer welcome. Uh, so I hope you guys have a great weekend. I hope you're brewing this weekend. I hope you're drinking some home brews this weekend. And I'll talk to you guys next week. Cheers.